Okay, new week and a new update. This time we've got, well, this is uh, <laughs> just the weapon side of things, but let's start off with the new weapons. We've got the Sten family. Okay, uh, of course, Sten, some machine guns from World War II. Unfortunately, I'm left-handed, so this is gonna be a little bit hard, but you see you've got the regular Sten, you know. What, what version is this? Let me uh, check here. SMG. This is the Mark II. Okay. Comes with a... Let me see. How many... We've got a 30 round magazine, which is this long one. And again, I'm left-handed, so this is going to be kind of weird. <laughs> and comes with also a 15 round magazine, which is the one you see here. If you can see that. Left eye. I have to remember, it's recording left eye. Basically, it's a it's an open bolt submachine gun used in World War II. Uh, I'm left-handed, so this is going to be kind of weird because you can see that this is how you're supposed to hold it right there. But I'm going to do left-handed because you pull it back, the bolt opens up. When you pull the trigger, it releases the bolt, pushes the bullet in, and well, there's a firing pin in there. It's all very complicated. That semi-auto, full auto. And uh, yeah. Take out the magazine. Let's try the short one. Short 15 round magazine. Okay, cool. Kind of hard to do when you're left-handed, obviously. You have to go like this. My hand right here, you have to go like this. <laughs> It's kind of weird to visualize because you can't see my arms or my hands, but there's the Mark II. Then we have the Mark V with the wooden furniture. Look at that. Looks very nice. <laughs> You'll see this a lot in Call of Duty or whatever World War II game that you have. Again, really awkward if you're left-handed. Pull the bolt back. My auto already. There's no real safety to this, I don't think. Okay, then the 15 round mag. Boom. Pull it back. Oh, the actual safety is right there. <laughs> Alright, one more magazine for good measure. A long one this time on full auto. I'll put it on safe. You know, very safety conscious. Oh, here comes an enemy. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Really nice model, too. I'll drop that one on the ground. This is the Mark VI, and it's got an integral suppressor with a little leather covering. I think that's leather. Maybe. No, it's not paper. <laughs> Cloth, maybe. Leather, yeah. Again, uses the 30 round magazines. Pull it back, it's open bolt. You can see the inside. Let's uh, let's see the mechanics here. I'm gonna pull the trigger. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Let's switch it to full auto. A lot quieter. Go to 15 round mag. Let's put it in safe. This is, <laughs> well, this is as close as you can get to a safety. There is no real safety to this, I think. I'm not too sure about World War II guns. I think it's safe. Oh, here comes a bad guy. Oh no. <laughs> here come the Germans. <laughs> and of course, the one that I kind of uh, liked. This is the Mark IX. It's a sort of a pistol variant, I guess. It took off the back of the stock. And it accepts the 15 round or the 30 round mag. I put the 30 round on there. This is semi-auto. And I think this is full auto. <laughs> it's such a small gun, but with a long magazine. Let's try the let's try the 15 round magazine. Put that in safe. Oh, well, I think that's safe. You lock the bolt back. And, you know, 
They're just sitting there. Oh no, Germans. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. And the last weapon, I think, before we get to the the other mode that the developers put in, is the M4 Shorty. I think that's the name of it. M4A1 Shorty. It's basically a shortened version of the M4. Uh, yeah, it's it's small. <laughs> so let's spawn up a comparison here. M4A1. Ooh, wow, that is. That's cut down. What, what do you call these? Uh, SBRs? Short barreled rifle? That's that's even shorter. <laughs> I think that's what you call them. I don't know since I don't own any weapons in real life because I am wasting it all on video game hardware such as an HTC Vive and graphics cards and all that other good stuff. So yeah, that's the M4 Shorty or M4A1 Shorty. Works like a regular M4. Let's put this on full auto. Actually, hold on. Let me just try something. Since these guns are a little too... Uh, too ear-damagingly loud. Let's put a suppressor on this. Will that work? Oh, yes it will. <laughs> okay. Let's take that off. Let's put on the uh, Beta C Mag. I called it a beta mag last time. Uh, that's not right. It's the, the it's a C mag. <laughs> but yeah. On the target. Why am I shooting the wall? <laughs> I don't quite understand what my logic is there. But yeah. It's a very short version of the M4. You can pull the stock out. You can do this. <laughs> I mean, what else do you want from this? Makes, uh, you know, since it's shorter, you can clear obstacles a lot easier, even with a suppressor. Let's take this off. <laughs> Let's remove this. Uh, put that in my pocket. Uh, you know, there's like a wall here, and then you can just be like, whoop. You know, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> with the uh, longer M4, it's kind of a, an issue when you're. I guess what they call transitioning. <laughs> I, I think that's what it's called. Or just moving in general. You're moving past the wall, you have to dip the, the weapon down, right? It's kind of hard to see in 2D. I mean, it's perfectly fine in, in VR since I can judge distances. So I know that this is a little too far in. Ah, it's, that's weird. It's complicated. Look, look at this mess of firearms. Get the magazines there. Let's throw all this stuff out. Actually, no. <laughs> it was worth a shot, though, putting a suppressor on a Sten. I mean, there is already a suppressed version, but, you know, you want to use the small, no, nope, small pistol variant right here. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> it actually worked. Look at that. Uh, where, where are the magazines? Oh, no, that's empty. Where did I throw them? <laughs> where did it go? That's not what I wanted. No. Mm. Well, long one's cool. Um, let me see. No. You know what? This is... This is funny. <laughs> I didn't actually think this would work, but... No, that's a long mag. Here we go. 15 rounds. This this actually does work? <laughs> that is so cool. That is really cool. I did not think that he would actually put that functionality with this, this firearm, but you can put a suppressor on it. Hold on. Now let me just check. Where's the other one? Here we go. No, no, you can't do that. Suppressor on a suppressor? No, <laughs> that's just illogical. Sorry. No, so you can do that with the, the short Mark 6 version. I think this is Mark 9, sorry. <laughs> you can't put a suppressor on it. 
that is amazing wow you never you never talked about that you know in the the, the developer video but apparently you can do that you can put a suppressor on the mark 9 be like pow boom 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 boom, boom. <laughs> yeah that's enough all right so that's part one there is another part to the update which i will show soon maybe right now okay this is meatmus 2017 um, i'm not too sure if you're familiar with the previous meatmus but that was where you could unlock different guns and stuff in a wintry themed wonderland such as this using the same kind of uh what do you call this snow globe kind of location only this time it's a lot more evolved involved sorry <laughs> i said evolved well it is both it's evolved and more involved where you'll see uh let's actually read the tutorial here so basically you buy gun crates with sauce packets to arm yourself uh okay the grunch that's <laughs> the grunch stole meat miss or whatever uh Monetized meat mess, that's what it's called. Step two, spawn and fight pepperonis to earn resources and more sauce, which is the currency. I forgot to explain that. Step three, eat resources to, uh, to find to collect them. Eat resources you find, so they're that stuff right there. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Craft resources into better ones, placing them in the grinder and turning the crank. Buy EAPA boxes with the three premium resources for earliest access to some meat mistreats. Um, what was uh, what did EAPA stand for? Earliest access pride and accomplishment box. A slight little subtle dig at EA with Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> that pride and accomplishment. <laughs> okay, so let's grab a 1911. And before we do anything, I have, ooh, I have 3,507 sauce, so I can buy a large gun. Aha, yes. Let's get over here. Ah, uh, oops. Put this down. What do we have here? Oops. It is, uh, it's one of those uh, tiny shotguns. Which is, I, I think it's not as good as uh, one of the other shotguns out there, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. And put these sights on. Okay, it's good enough. <laughs> and let's put in some rounds. One, two, two. Plus one in the chamber. That's three, so... Okay, I have no magazine in my 1911, put that down there, okay, and uh, I guess we'll start. Basically you spawn in the pepperoni bots this time, uh, random, gun type, armor type, random, health setting, let's play with human uh average and let's spawn six one two so that's six okay oh there they are i see them over there let's go take these guys out oh <laughs> yeah just start attacking me right there Oops. Ooh, ooh. Ah, gotcha. Oh, here come a couple more. Oh. Okay, this is pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have stuck with a shotgun. Oops. Gotcha. 
Where's that guy? Where's that other guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, I forgot there's six of them, so I, I, I took down three. Oh, my reload. Oh no. Okay, smooth. Oh, he's wearing face armor. No! Oh no! Gotta run away! This is a bad thing. Okay, got him. <laughs> Alright, so how many is that? I think that was six. Hopefully that was six. Not too sure. It's a little quiet here. But let me get another uh, before I spawn another one let's get rid of these cases Oof. Oh, stuck close this baby up there all right gotta run gotta run all right let's buy another case here Ooh, here we go what is in this one let's see let's uh, open this baby up Oh, it's a it's a Galil. I don't I don't know how you pronounce that, but all right, let's move this out of the way. Let's drop these, drop that, drop that, and you know what? To avoid any other, let's just get rid of that. <laughs> okay, got ourselves a Galil. I think that's how you say that. I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really too sure. I'll put these sights on, which you don't really need since there are <laughs> there are backup sights already on the weapon. But hey, you know you never know. Okay, that one is set. Put the oh, put the safety off there, and. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to spawn a couple more bots and get out of this mode because this is actually pretty, like I said, intensive. You gotta collect all these resources, you gotta grind them up, you gotta make all this stuff, and that's your storage units right there. And the ultimate goal of this mode is to open these EAPA boxes, which have very nice secrets in them. I don't know what they are, but that's going to take some time and well, I don't have that much time to record <laughs> cuz it'll get pretty boring pretty fast. So, I'm just going to spawn maybe again six bots and try to take them out with better weaponry this time. Let's go go go. Oh, there they are. Oh, someone shooting at me. Who's shooting? Aha! Oh, got hit. Gotta drop this. Seems like I'm hitting their armor. Oops. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm dead. <laughs> I died. <laughs> My bot spawn is zero, so I saw him drop something, so I'm going to check that out for a minute. Hold on. <clears throat> Got to run fast. Nope. Is it gone? Oh, it's gone. But yeah, they drop, uh, some of them drop little collectible things you got to collect. And uh, yeah. <laughs> So that's this mode. I'm going to play this for a while because I want to unlock all these these boxes. There's 16 of them and I don't know, there might be special weapons or items. You don't know. 
you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so pretty much that's this whole mode. And now I have to find where my monitors are in the real world and stop this video. I think, uh, there it is.